your girl, Sephora Zoller. I'm gonna lie, I'm even joined. <laughs> With another video. It's been a bit nervous. Um, this is me and my glasses. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. I want it to be top tier. I want it to be spectacular. And I want it to be 10 10, right? Guys, I'm gassed at the way I look. I can't lie. Like, I really thought that I needed lashes in order to execute this look. But I'm not gonna lie, it's giving. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sephora Zola and I am back. I am back after taking a little to long, to lengthy, to healthy, necessary and needed break. I'm back on YouTube and I'm back with another video. I'm gonna get into the important life lessons that I've learned at the age of 20 years young 20 years old i feel like i've learned so much in this first year of my 20s guys it's like a burning desire within me to just share it onto a platform to share it onto youtube hopefully tiktok as well in the next coming weeks for now i just kind of wanted to get back on my youtube zoom it's been a minute y'all and i haven't seen y'all in a minute so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys check out all my other videos and all my other content the one thing that is just as inevitable as death is life that is the most important thing that i feel like i've learned this season it's been a very turbulent season dealing with a lot mentally emotionally physically every single emotion that you feel whether that is pain whether that is suffering whether that's happiness whether that's ecstasy is that a drug i don't really know whatever emotion or feeling you feel is so necessary and is all a part of this perfect story that god has for you at the end of the day remind yourself that if you're feeling actual emotions that is what life is all about um, when you face adversity and when you go through pain and suffering it's very very easy to look at the negatives in that situation to really just come back to god and be like god wagwan what are we doing here and why am i dealing with this and it's just one piece in the puzzle but at the end of the day god uh, gives us the strength i'm preaching there i mentioned god i did it I can't go throughout one video without mentioning wow. that. Another thing that I've learned at the age of 20 is that suffering exacerbates and suffering brings out the ugliest version of yourself. And so I was thinking about this as I think a lot, guys. Hence why I did English and philosophy. I'm a critical tinker. So apparently my video is rolling. I've been having issues with storage and it's really annoying me. But anywho, adversity, you're exposed to the ugliest version of you. And that may not always look pretty. That may not always look cute. It kind of also relates to my point about healing and the fact that you've gone through something or you're going through a breakup or you're going through, you know, any times of adversity, whatever it might be, the healing is not going to be pretty. Pretty. getting yourself back together is not going to be pretty are exposed to the ugly side of you that you never thought you could reach for me it looks like when i have very negative critical thoughts about myself at the end of the day you need to catch those thoughts and bind those thoughts and destroy those thoughts but as a christian it's important to me because what we say and what we speak over ourselves is so important is so crucial it defines who we are if i'm someone that wants to have a successful life i need to make sure that it begins in air i need to make sure that i in my mind am prepping myself and building myself uplifting myself because at the end of the day everything that you do starts in your mind all your actions begin in your mind all your thoughts begin in your mind you're not gonna have some linear life experience where you're gonna be constantly happy constantly the same sometimes you're gonna switch it up and you're not gonna be as uplifting or as positive but that is okay the whole point is that every emotion that you feel is okay and is important and is valid you don't always want to be such a person that brings yourself down you want to make sure that you are uplifting yourself and speaking life into yourself because in scripture it literally says the life and death is in the power of the time um, there's a difference between embarrassment and self-infliction i really wanted to mention this because in this generation that we're living in a lot of people would find certain things embarrassing a lot of people overthink decisions that they want to make about their future or actions that they even want to do in the present moment something that they want to say they refrain from saying it i'm talking about they it has also been me as well. We refrain from saying things because we have a fear of embarrassment. Embarrassment is not a real thing. It's just an illusion, all right? It's very situated and relative to where you live or the people that you're around. Or you think that people will think that something's embarrassing. But at the end of the day, it's not. In this life, you have to do you to the fullest extent. But yeah, when I was having a conversation with my friend about the difference between embarrassment and humiliation, it basically broke down this really important point, fact actually, that like kind of just changed my way of thinking. Embarrassment. 
I feel like that's self-inflicted, aka you bring that upon yourself, you're scared of what other people are gonna say about you. Whereas humiliation is when someone actively tries to embarrass you in front of people. What I'm trying to like tackle here is the fact that embarrassment is not real. We do not need to be embarrassed. Even me on YouTube, I, sometimes I don't even know if my YouTube videos even hit like that. You just need to do it. Forget embarrassment, minus subtract it from your life and just do the things that you are called to do. And even if that may make you seem embarrassing and at the end of the day you've got to be you and do you to the fullest the extent point. that i've probably heard in a song i feel like is that you will never know the true meaning of happiness if you have not experienced the opposite it's probably been said somewhere already but i'm not this is not like the original book of sephora okay i'm kind of gathering bits and pieces here and there that i picked up in life that i have like revolutional revolutional a e! revolutionized revolutionized I'm probably not even saying it right. Make changed me as an individual. So we choose to look at our negative situations or times of adversity or periods of suffering as just negative just nonsense points of our lives that bring us down but they turn us into, into this beautiful butterfly that's what i kind of feel like i've kind of been turned into is that i've gone through certain things in order to become the person that i am now so to cherish the little 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 things that are the true meaning of happiness but i can only cherish that even more because i remember what it was like to not have that are you kind of gathering are you getting what i'm saying damn it's like when you're sick and you get ill and you're just like remember what life was like when i wasn't it's also like when you're internally suffering when you're mentally struggling and be appreciative of every single moment in the moment it's okay to also not be appreciative because i feel like in times of adversity i'm not expecting you to wake up and be like oh my god i'm so happy to be in this place of suffering i'm so happy if that's not what i'm trying to get at be accepting of the stages that you're at in life i think that's what i'm trying to aim at it's not a about being overtly positive about your situation and being an optimist it's more about acceptance and appreciation for life i feel like will come at the end of once you accept every single moment the good the bad and the ugly that having a big heart is not your biggest fault is not your biggest setback having a big heart oh child having a big heart having a big heart we could also give it synonyms right in this video overly emotional could also be overly sensitive and all these qualities are made to seem very very are meant to be this like really negative thing especially in this generation this gen z generation where it's just very much like it's a cold world and we all gotta be cold hearted like everyone needs to chill out first and foremost take a chill pill relax yeah and just read a book or something because it's never that serious in continuation of what i was saying before is that having a big heart can also be your biggest strength the way i look at it now because i got a big heart right and all that i find that have the biggest hearts are, are able to to be the most creative because i feel like they have a lot of passion within them so i'm not too sure if that point was you know it ain't like that but i don't really care if it ain't like that my main point is that having a big heart has been a strong suit for me but like it almost interlinks with my creativity it interlinks with my passion it interlinks with my skills i'm good at writing i'm good at like putting words together because of the fact that i carry emotion within me do you know what i mean so a lot of our emotions and our traits that we might denounce align and like make and it all makes sense do you know what i mean and it's very st strategic from god a lot of people would think that being emotional is a disadvantage and it's also about how you navigate having a big heart and having carrying a lot of emotions that just means if you're an emotional person you've got to be extra careful I heard this in a tiktok as well you've got to be extra aware of how you are carrying yourself with others that means setting boundaries yeah when um making sure that things are requited and not unrequited making sure that you're not giving so much to someone else and getting less back and so we're not talking about an exchange not everything in life has to be exchanged you need to also do things out the kindness of your heart however it is important if you are carrying emotion and you've got a big art to make sure that you are navigating yourself with boundaries and awareness and not just obliviously just jogging through life and not really deep in things and if you don't have a big heart then you know just make sure you embrace that part of you embrace the fact that you know you ain't got the biggest heart and you is not that emotional but the way you are is perfectly planned prepped and put together by the name 
of Jesus. Um, making sure that we are aware of who we are. I think we can be who we want to be. Anyone can be anything in this life. You can be an optimist, you can be a pessimist, but just making sure you are aware of what you are and what you are not. Me and my friends have spoken about this and I love this phrase, being sure and confident and aware of who you are and also what you are not knowing what you carry knowing your strengths and also knowing your weaknesses i'm just gonna end it on this note end this video on something i've been thinking about recently is god and exploring faith what is the point is that in this life a lot of people have coping mechanisms and at the end of the day i feel like the best coping mechanism for me is jesus i don't know when this video like turned into this guys this video did a 360 but i do not even care i don't even know how we ended up here but we are here right the best coping mechanism for myself is Jesus Christ. And I've realized like other people are just like, why, why, why would I believe in a Jesus, a God that's not here? Like, I know that God is real, but the feeling, I feel feel it and i feel like that's my evidence do you know what i mean the feeling the, the the way i feel after i pray all that type of stuff that's how i know that god is real that's how i know that he is real and he's alive and he's working in me and he's working on those around me because i feel it i don't need to explain this to other people i don't need to break it down at the end of the day wow god is too good i don't always need to explain myself to others my relationship with god is so simple it is my favorite it is the best it is the only coping mechanism that really changes me and shapes me and makes me a better person and makes me a happier person there's also so much more that i've learned and so much more content that i want to bring back onto youtube i want to be consistent with youtube as well especially because i completed exams and i have some free time during summer i am working a full-time job guys at the theater um because you know i wanted to be close to acting as that's my passion and that's what i want to do with my life please let me know what you guys would like to see down in the comments below i hope and i pray and i hope and i know y'all enjoyed this youtube video of me just expressing just letting out all the thoughts that are in my brain onto a camera and you guys i hope you guys are going to enjoy it anyways i don't even know how it ended up but i am proud of me and i'm proud of myself for getting back onto the camera and filming because it has been a minute yeah, guys let me know if you guys want to see um get to know me tag i feel like so i can reintroduce myself um because you know i'm 20 now y'all because i'm different and new and you know changing everything um, but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and check out all my other content i appreciate every single subscriber i think right now i'm at 1583 so i just want to give a big thanks to every single person that has subscribed that has liked and much love to you guys because i appreciate you guys so much Thanks for watching bye guys